Hello, good yo-yo people. I'm Nate, and this is Let's Talk Yo-Yo. You know, in these wintry months in central Ohio, it gets pretty cold. Like today, it's in the low 30s. And I like to play outside as much as I can. Uh, maybe you're like that as well. I do all these reviews outside because I like the natural light as well. Um, and thus, I absolutely have to go inside and I need to get a review done, you know, if the conditions aren't right. Uh, but today, it's pretty cold, you know, and so, um, I'm not typically gonna gravitate maybe if I'm gonna be playing outside for a long period of time, a metal yo-yo. Typically, I gravitate towards a plastic yo-yo. So that got me thinking. Um, let's take the three top, in my opinion, the three top plastic yo-yos on the market right now that are all in the same price point. Um, some have been out for a little longer. Some are pretty new to this year. Um, and uh, I, I think we should compare them. All right, so we're gonna do that today. Uh, so we're gonna compare today uh, the first base by Recess. All right, this, is, this one's been around for quite a while and you can get in a ton of different colors. Um, then we're also gonna compare the Plastic by SF Yo-Yos. Okay, we're gonna use that one as well. And then lastly, we're gonna compare the Antidote, which is a collaboration between Unparalleled and Top Yo. All right. So there you have it. Um, so we're gonna look at these three yo-yos. Now they're quite different, right? Um, but they're all injection molded, so there's that similarity. Uh, and they're all the same price. So we're gonna start with the oldest, okay? This one's been around for a while, the first base. Um, now all three of these yo-yos have a different shape to them. This is an organic yo-yo. Let's take, a, take the string out. And uh, so you'll see that it's an organic shape. Really nice, I love organic yo-yos. It comes in this clear, it comes in, a ton of different colors uh, and in fact uh, it also comes in some custom dyed one as well dyed ones as well now the only difference uh, between this particular one you're gonna notice and the other two is that there's no like any kind of blast finish on it it is a uh, tacky uh, sort of glass glass like you know I like that though on this clear I think that would really take away from just the beauty of the yo-yo itself if you had it blasted it wouldn't be completely translucent like this it would just kind of be more opaque. But um, it also doesn't have um, as much of a finger spin sort of hub as the other two will. Of course, the Antidote has more, way more of a finger spin ready sort of hub than the others. But overall, I've really liked this yo-yo. I own actually a couple of them. I've owned a few in the past. I've given ones away. This will probably not be the last one I own either. Um, I traded for this one because I just, I liked the clear and I didn't have a clear one. so. Um, that's why I, I think that's one thing that's really kind of great about the first base is it has sort of that rebuyability. Is that a word? Rebuyability? Sure. But there's so many out there and there's so many different branded ones. You know, this one's just the simple logo. I think Drew Tate's designed that. Did he design that? Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's, that's the font there. And uh, that's kind of the standard one, but you also have, you know, the fruit ones that they have and all kinds of other additions. They have that cat one right now. What is that called? Anyways, I don't, I, I forget off the top of my head. I was really tempted to pick that one up though because it has the, um, you know, the glitter and all that, the sparkliness to it. Reminds me of some of the Duncan ones that they used to do with that with the butterflies. Uh, anyways, so yeah, I really like this one and I'll probably have more of them. Really nice feeling in the hand, very comfortable, kind of overall just really great, just great design, you know, and um, it's solid. And it's, and it's one that I would probably buy another one of and I probably still will. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Uh, that is the plastic, no vowels by SF Yo-Yos. They're fun with that, right? So uh, I like this one. This one also, the colorway on this one has a, sort of a kickback to that Enyo sort of design that you saw in a lot of free hands. I had one of those way back in the day and I wish I had not, not got rid of it. Well, I gave it to somebody that was learning. So no regrets, I guess. Uh, now this one's more of an H-shaped Yo-Yo. A little bit more competition friendly. If you're wanting a plastic that is focused on competition sort of play or performance driven, uh, the SF plastic is going to be your your choice um, if, if you're comparing them uh, right with the first base. Now, the antidote's gonna be in that same line too, so we'll get to that. Um, the finish is a lot, little, lot less tacky. It's smoother here. Um, and the shape is also gonna be decent for grinds as well, as far as the plastic is concerned. Um, you do have deeper bowls there. Now there isn't really necessarily like a, 
like a nub or something like that, that where you, like you can finger spin directly. You can finger spin with this yo-yo if you wish. Watch my video on my top five. 2019, you'll see that this made my top five. So you know that it's a yo-yo I really enjoy and um, and I'm glad I have it. And I'll probably own another one of these as well. Uh, I think one of the differences between this one and the rebuyability factor with, with this one and the first base, the fact that the first base keeps, you know, coming up with new colorways and, and, and new uh, stencil designs on them and so on that are maybe appealing to people, especially collectors, and uh, you know, you see something, you're like, "Ooh, I just really like, I really like that design. I really want one with a with a kitten on it, doing whatever they're, they're doing." Okay, uh, but anyways, that's pretty cool. Um, now there is a couple editions of this, you know. Now SF did do an unknown edition of this one that has the uh, engravings on it. I think there is potential for more uh, engraving possibilities. So I don't know if they'll do that. But I also like the clean design of that too. You know, typically on metal yo-yos, I don't actually really like engravings, typically, unless it just, I don't know, it fits and I think it makes sense. But sometimes aesthetically, maybe it just kind of messes with my brain. <laughs> I don't know. I'm picky, maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's pretentious, possibly. I don't know. But uh, I do like the clean design on that as well. So overall, I really like that. And I, I like the fact that, that it sort of feels like all the little details were paid attention to, because typically you would get that little plastic injection mold mark there, like you see on the uh, first base, but they cover that up with a, a sticker, you know, with a, with, you know, with grave engravings or whatever. Um, and so you don't have that on here, but they smoothed it out. So it's nice and smooth and it looks just a little bit more polished, I think, than, um, than even actually the antidote. So I think overall this one gets the like sort of aesthetic appeal. I also really like the shape and uh, that, that Enya sort of color way kind of gives a little bit of a nostalgic uh, feel to it as well. All right, last but not least is, uh, now this one I have not done a review of. Uh, the antidote I have just recently gotten, I have, I've had it for about two weeks, I guess. So I've had plenty of play time with it. I like this orange a lot. It comes in a couple different, um, plenty of different uh, solid colorways. I'm not sure if there's any, uh, you know, hint of any more coming out, uh, but this one's more of a V-shaped yo-yo um, and where, you know, we have an organic, we have an H-shape, we have a V. So that right away, that might kind of make your decision, right? So if you are choosing between these three and you can only afford one, uh, but really you can buy all three of these for the price of a, you know, a metal yo-yo, 60 bucks altogether. It's pretty great. So. Yeah, so may maybe right away, just because if you really like, say you really like V-shaped yo-yos, you might go towards the antidote. Now I've been really liking this yo-yo a lot. Now I actually got to play this for like maybe five minutes at most at Worlds this last year. So I did have some mini short exposure to it, you know, but I kind of forgot about that until I picked it up and I was like, oh man, I really, I really enjoy this yo-yo. I wish I had picked one up at Worlds, uh, but I literally spent every penny uh, by the time that happened and I couldn't pick it up. So. But now you'll notice right away that the one difference here is that it has metal, a uh, metal hub there. Now all the other ones have metal, you know, innards. Is that the right word? Is that, that's the right word, right? Innards, that's the technical term, right? Uh, but this has, you know, those metal hubs that you can do finger spins on, very deliberately finger spin ready. Um, now the blast on there uh, is, is, is really good too, but it's a little bit more generic, I feel. That's not, maybe not even the right term but it's not as polished, I think, as the plastic was. So it's really nice though. You know, it's gonna grind really well. I'm not sure how long it's going to last. I think it might rub off over time. Um, and, but I'm not positive on that. I haven't had it long enough to really test that out, that theory out, but I'm not sure how long that'll last. And you can kind of see still some of the, uh, you know, it's hard to tell it here, but you can still feel a little bit of the machine marks. It's not obnoxious. It's not sharp or anything, but you can tell that it's just not as uh, paid attention to the minor little details as much as the SF Plastic was, but it's still a really great yo-yo. All right, let's go ahead and actually play them and see how they sort of stack up against each other um, on the string. All right, let's go. Overall, I just, I really love this yo-yo. It plays really smooth. This is probably the smoothest one I have too. 
and uh, you know it's hard to get plastics perfectly smooth, especially when you're mass producing them as much as the the first base is. Um, and this one's really really smooth. I've actually never really had one with so much crazy vibe that it's unplayable by any means. Um, that's one thing that's going to be really nice for all three of these yo-yos. Actually, they're they're fairly on the same smoothness. I've played some plastic yo-yos that are just so vibey that it's like it feels like less than twenty bucks. So you're gonna get a yo-yo that plays like it's better than twenty dollars, and that's pretty great. Overall, on the string, I mean, it's just kind of a standard, you know, feel. Uh, the weight's really nice. It's kind of got a lighter feel on the string. I think I've done a review on this. Man, if I have, it's been a long time. I think I have. Now, I talked about the finger spin a little bit. There is one, I think, that is that they put out a very limited release of. I never got it. It's a purple one, I think. Uh, and it does have a finger spin sort of hub on there. But I've not played it, and I don't know how well it does. But I'd assume it does its job. So, yeah, overall, I really like the feel and the string on this one. It's really just comfortable in the hand on the catch. It's really nice for that organic shape. Now, it's not going to grind really well at all. It's going to just kind of stick there um, even when your hands are dry like mine are now. Uh, but if that's what you're into, great. Then gravitate some of the others. Uh, typically, I don't really do a lot of grinds, but I've never really felt it being a problem. Uh, rejections are really good on this as well. It's got really good spin times. It's got really good gap as well. I like that clear a lot. Sometimes the visibility, depending on what my ground is, like if I had snow on the ground right now, this would probably not be the yo-yo I'd gravitate towards just because it might be very difficult to see, uh, especially with white string like I play too. But right now it's fine. You know, if I'm playing inside or playing over asphalt or playing over the grass like this, it's just fine. I don't know what else to say. Great, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, again, it's just gonna come down to preference and uh, personal taste a little bit on these yo-yos. Let me go ahead and get the SF plastic, the SF plastic. All right, let's check this out. Now the feel on the string for the plastic is a little bit, I feel like it has a little bit more nimbleness maybe uh, to it. Uh, the weight distribution is a lot more on the rims, I feel. Uh, it's also quite a bit wider than the other two. I, do, I forgot to talk about the width, sort of. The first base and the antidote are about the same width. Now, however, the plastic is quite a bit wider and it, it definitely feels that way. And the weight distribution, and I think probably because it is H-shaped as well, that it has quite a bit of just feeling of stability, I think. And it just has a little bit more nimble feeling to it. Yeah, I really like this yo-yo. It doesn't have, it doesn't regen, I don't think, as well as the recess does. Um, it's just as comfortable, I think, in the hand, even though it's not an organic shape. It's really just kind of very really comfy, sort of H-shaped yo-yo. It's going to grind fairly well as well. That was kind of weak sauce, but it grinds, though, uh, really well. And the shape, actually, is really ideal for grinding as well. All right, so that is the plastic SF. All right. Okay, last, we have the antidote. Now this one I feel like was sort of marketed towards being a, a little bit more competition ready. Not sure if it's better uh, competition wise than the plastic. I feel like it's gonna be just as capable. That was not a very good bind on that. You're gonna be able to pop it in very easy. I almost hit it every single time. But yeah, it reminds me of that Skyvo a little bit. And you're going to be able to do finger spins all day with that. The blast is nice. I don't like it as much. I feel like it's a little bit more aggressive than the plastic was. This yo is very smooth, but you can feel a little bit more of that. And maybe even hear a little bit more of that, you know, with that grind. I like it though. I really like it. I'm glad I picked one up. Yeah, I really like the antidote. I'm glad I picked one up. I like that orange a lot too. I think it pops really nice. But I think all three of these have something to offer. Um, 
Again, I didn't want this to be necessarily just like sort of my personal take, but more of an overview. So you take whatever you needed to understand with, from this yo-yo, right? If you're like, I really just, I've never had a recess first base. You need to go check one out. You need to pick one up. You should have one. I think it's a really good yo-yo, especially for some of you adults out there. Uh, if you have, if you ever get in contact with people at clubs or what have you that are just getting into yo-yo, I think the recess is a really good yo-yo to hand them and to just kind of have in your case to have extras for yourself and also to maybe give away as well. Uh, the plastic is also gonna be really good for that because it has that uh, in the box, that slim line bearing. But overall, I think if you're looking for a competition sort of yo-yo and you're just wanting a good plastic that's gonna be able to compete with some of the metals in your case, you might wanna lean towards the antidote. Um, so that's gonna do it for my overview of, in comparison of the Recess First Base, the SF Plastic, and the top yo and unparalleled antidote. All right, and uh, that's gonna do it for now. And as usual, good day, good yo-yo. As you might already know, there is a fixed axle February contest that will start February 1st, going to February 29th. So you still have a couple days to maybe pick up a fixed axle yo-yo if you don't own one. All the details are in the description box, everything you need to know. I have a video also link in there to further instructions if you really want to see that if you're more of a visual person like moi that's french for something i don't know anyways and so be checking that out we have amazing judges we have amazing sponsors all right that's going to do it again and as usual good day and good yo yo